Alright, what is going on guys? It's Apollo 1 and today we are back with another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare gameplay. Today, featuring a nuke, or deatomizer strike as Infinite Warfare likes to call it, in the game. Actual gameplay of this happening. This is huge. This is definitely an insane, insane gameplay. Drop an early like on today's video. If we could shoot for 1,500 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. If you're new to Carnage Clan, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. You can definitely expect more Atomizer and Nuke uh, gameplays here in the near future, probably throughout the weekend. And obviously when this game drops, there's going to be Atomizer strikes everywhere. So look forward to that, as well as some 100 plus kill gameplays and some other crazy stuff that you're guaranteed to like. And some maybe some class setups and tips and tricks as well. But anyways, guys, let's get right into this gameplay and break it down. So first off, this gameplay is by Moser. This guy is an absolute monster and he, he just goes off. He's playing on the map Frost and he is using the FHR-40, which is kind of reminds me of like the P90, kind of from, from like Modern Warfare 3. I don't know, it's just a very fast fire rate weapon that has great mobility, kind of even reloads the same way, and it's just a great weapon. I love it. It has great accuracy. You can shoot from decent ranges, and it's great for rushing. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his class setup actually real quick. So he is using, I'm going to put it up on screen so you guys can take a look at it. He is using foregrip, which is really good, obviously, because of that range. You need to have good precision. Uh, he has quick draw on it. He has extended mags, and then he has suppressor. When you're going for nukes like this, especially at early states of the game where everybody is using UAVs, it's a great idea to use that suppressor so enemies really have no idea where you're coming from. And then he is using two perks, which were kind of interesting perk choices. I like to use some other perks, but these are probably, you know, he, he's the expert, obviously. He is using uh, this class setup that managed to get him a nuke, so I can't say anything, but uh, the, the perks that he is using are Recon, which allows you to uh, have a larger mini-map, and also it says gain a single radar sweep when a standard enemy UAV appears, another one dies. And then the other one is that he is using is obviously really good, especially while using a suppressor on your weapon, and that is Ghost, which uh, counters UAVs, pings, and relays. So, definitely two good perks that are good for going for uh, a nuke. And obviously he has to use the Havoc variant of this, which is the legendary variant of the FHR-40, which is the only version that allows you to go for the nuke. And as of now, it's the only SMG that is allowed to go for the nuke, which is very interesting. And I, I really hope they change this in the actual game, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, so it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, this gameplay, like I said, I do want to shout out Moser, because he is the guy behind this gameplay. I'm going to leave his original nuclear video down below in the description below as well as his Twitter so you can go check him out if you guys want to. I know he does some live streaming as well. But he's obviously a very very good player and he's he's probably going to be doing some cool stuff uh, throughout Infinite Warfare. Probably dropping some more uh, nukes and I think he's even trying to go for a double as of now. But yeah definitely stick to the end of this video as well because you're going to get to see what happens. How it There's a lot of things that happen first off uh, you get to see what it does you'll get to see the thing like that flies above the in the air which is called the the atomizer strike that shoots down the deatomizer strike, which is awesome, which he makes sure to look up and look at that. You get to see the little pop-up that shows everybody in the game that he got a nuke, and then it kills everybody in the game, ends it. So yes, it is just like the tactical nuke from Modern Warfare 2. That is right. The tactical nuke has returned. And guys, just a quick note, if you didn't already know, there's also a nuclear medal that he achieves in this game as well, uh, from getting 30 kills in a row, I believe. But it's just a medal, just like it was in Black Ops 3. But anyways, guys, Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to Carnage Clan. Stick around for more content. You're guaranteed to see more atomizer strikes or nukes or whatever you want to call them here at Carnage in the near future. Some class setups, all that kind of good stuff. Drop a like on today's video if you did enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys later.